All right, so once you get to the stopdisastersgame.org, you hit launch the game. I'm going to do a quick playthrough for you just so you can see how it works. So there's all sorts of information, and you can play this as many times as you want with different countries. But for today, you're going to focus, and for this project, you're going to focus on just one country. And I'm going to have you do earthquakes. So you go up here, you click earthquakes. Um, let's see. Did it click? Play game. I want you to choose Eastern Mediterranean and easy. Eastern Mediterranean and easy. And you have some information, which I'm not even going to read right now. But basically, it says you have a population of 436 people. And you have to have a place that's going to protect them. Um, your challenge is to provide accommodations for 600 people and one hospital and one school. So if I look at my information right now, I have 436 people housed. I need to get 600 people housed, plus I need a school and a, um, a school and a hospital. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the disaster to get my baseline data just to see because what you want to do is improve your score. So I'm going to hit start disaster. And I can see all the destruction happening. I can look around my screen. So remember, it goes all the way up to there about as far back as it goes and now I want to see what happens so I'm going to let it run through and then I can hit view report so if I look at my report what it said was um, how many people died 40 people died 208 injured and my final score was zero so I'm going to go ahead and write that information on the data table I have. So my total score, final score zero, how many were injured, and then I'm going to write some observations. The building with the most damage are the ones closest to the water, and then any other observations I had, like um, the older buildings got damaged, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play through again. So I'm going to hit continue, fail. And I have to run through this three times for this project. So now I'm going to go ahead and start looking at what are some things I could change. So if I look at this townhouse, it has a 79% chance of failing. And if I look back here, 70%. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, this is 79% success rate. While this one, this one is at 63%. This house is at about 70%. This house is about 80%. So some of these are, are probably pretty good. Old townhouse, let's see. Where's one that I want to do? All right, so I want to go back to here. This commercial block does not look good, only a 25%. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upgrade it. So to upgrade it, I would just hit this little upgraded sign and I can say what I'm going to add to it. So maybe building reinforcements, maybe secure fittings. And that's going to improve its rating. Okay, so I'm going to buy it. And it was at a 25% and right now it's at, oh, it should go up. Oh, why is it? Oh, it's only 10%. 10 is a good score. All right, so I'm sorry. This is a 70% of failure. So I'm actually just going to delete that house. These ones, these, these ones that have a high incidence of failure, I'm just going to get rid of them. And I'm going to start adding some other things back here. So I'm going to add back here. I'm going to add an apartment complex. Oh yeah, good, there. I'm gonna add one of these apartment complexes because don't forget I need to get 600 people in. So I'm gonna add that apartment complex. So now I have 176 unhoused. I'm gonna add another comp apartment complex. 
Alex. Plus, unhoused, still 164. Let's do that again. I'm going to keep adding these apartments until. And the reason why I'm putting them back here is because I noticed all the ones that got damaged were the ones closest to the water. And I'm going to keep going until I don't have any. And then don't forget, I have to add my hospital. So I haven't added a hospital yet. I still have a lot of money left, so that's actually really good. But let's just say I'm not going to go spend all this time doing it. I also have to add a school. Unhoused, I still only have 62 people unhoused, so let's at least do that. Add these apartments. These all probably have pretty good ratings, so only 25% chance of bombing out. That's pretty good. So I'm only at twenty six. There yet? Goodness gracious. I got to house two more people. I still have 36,000, so there's really actually a lot that I could do. I could destroy a bunch more houses and build more houses. So there's lots that I could do. But I'm just going to end here just so you can see. So at the very least, I have all my people housed. I got rid of some of the houses in the front, and I added my school and my hospital. So now I'm going to start my disaster. Hopefully I got a slightly better score. Lots of damage up here. Let's see what let's see about the dead faces. I didn't see a lot of death. Oh, I only see one, two, three. I only see four deaths. Let me review my report. So my final score was ten thousand two hundred and ten. So Final score was 10,210. And how many people died and how many people were injured? Let's see. Died 45, injured 378. Well, fewer died, but a lot more got injured and then I forgot to fill out this part so the things I did here was I destroyed houses closest to the water built large houses far away all right so those are the two things I did what did I learn uh, maybe I learned that even the large houses, even though they were far back, they still got damaged. So now I'm going to have to go through and continue. And I have to start over again. Okay. So again, the things that you can do to the homes, you can get rid of them. Just like this. So I can get rid of them. I can make them better by hitting this upgrade and I can like do all these things to get them a better rating.
And by doing that, now it's pretty good. It only has a 29% chance. We want a low number here. 82, we want a low number. All right. Um, what else could I, I could get rid of some trees so that they don't cause damage. And then I can also add things. So I can add a house by clicking that. And I can add any of these homes. So if I can add an apartment complex again. So anyway, each time you're trying to get a better score. Hopefully that made sense. And then after you're done with the data table, then you're writing a little essay about um, what you learned from the experience.